Okay, this is going to be the Hyman Fire Piston Demo. Uh, that's what this thing is here in front of me. I just kind of wanted to give you a tour of the apparatus, and then I'll do a more of a, a close-up shot of the actual demonstration. Um, so just on the bottom of this uh, tube is just a piece of, um, I think it's cork board. Essentially what we have is we have a plastic tube, and if you could see in the bottom there, there's a little metal piece which is attached to this board. And this tube is pushed all the way down on top of a rubber ring, which is creating an airtight seal. So essentially what we have is we have this uh, metal rod here with a plunger on the top of it, so that if I push down on here, I'm essentially compressing uh, the same amount of air. And you can see that it's going to spring back up on its own when I push down on it. So you're going to see when I make very small, slow changes in the pressure on here, you know, not much is happening. Essentially, I'm just rebounding back up due to the regular air pressure in this room. What I'm going to be doing is on that metal head that the tube slides around, I'm going to put a little piece of cotton. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically set that piece of cotton on fire uh, by applying pressure, pressure to the plunger, but doing it very rapidly. So we talked about metamorphic rock in the lecture outline. Uh, and that's high temperature and high pressure over a very long period of time will cause a metamorphosis or a change. I'm just, just going to give you an example of how pressure can actually create something uh, and change it. Essentially, I'm going to create a very high temperature region in here by applying this pressure. Since I'm taking the same amount of air, I'm essentially compressing it. I'm changing its volume. I'm making it into a smaller volume. So if I have a bigger pressure and a smaller volume, the other thing that is related to those two uh, variables is going to be temperature. So if pressure goes up and volume goes down, the temperature also has to go up to satisfy essentially chemistry and physics. So I'll be showing you a close-up view of that piece of cotton catching on fire because of the very high temperature change. So that'll be next. Okay, so you can see I have a, a camera that's close up to the very bottom of the, the fire piston here. So I'm just going to pop out. You hear that little pop? It means it was an airtight seal. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of cotton from this big cotton swab on the very top of the, the piston. Let's get it to stay there. All right, that was perfect. So it's sitting there, that piece of cotton. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the plunger and rapidly push down on it that's going to create a huge pressure change and huge volume change and the result of that is going to be a huge temperature change in the positive direction which is going to increase the temperature inside this tube and if I do this right the first time sometimes it doesn't work the first time it'll actually become so hot inside of the tube that the piece of cotton spontaneously catches on fire so let's see if it works so on three one two three Oh, we got it first time. All right, so I created such a huge temperature change inside of there that the piece of cotton just snapped went on fire. All right, it worked in that first video, but it was zooming in and there was a lot of light pollution back here. So now I just have the, the computer there to cast a shadow on the actual tube. And we're going to do this one more time. So I'll just get a piece of cotton for my swab. And you can't have a really big piece in there, otherwise it's it wouldn't actually catch on fire. And I just grabbed a piece that wasn't big enough. All right, this looks like a reasonable size. So hopefully you could see that in the video. Yeah, you can see the piece of cotton now. All right, I'm going to take my tube, which has the charred cotton from before, and just place it right above the piston and push all the way down so it makes a nice tight seal. So you can see the cotton in there now, no problem. I'm gonna put the plunger on top, and then one more time here, we'll have one, two, three. Nope, see it didn't work that time, but you notice, did you just see there was a fog inside the tube? That's actually pretty interesting. It's actually forming a cloud inside the tube when you have a decrease in the temperature. Try to remember that when we talk about cloud formation in uh, one of the weather chapters in Unit 3. So let's try that a third time and get a fire. Oh, it didn't work again. All right, I guess fourth time's a charm. Piece of cotton's in there, we're all ready to go. There we go, 
I bet you that came out pretty nice. And that was a really nice big fling because I put a larger piece of cotton.